Let me tell you what killed MTV. This is a, sh this is a shorter video, but what killed MTV is the format you're watching right now. No longer did I have to damn listen to what Pepsi and Viacom and electronic companies, you know, told me was cool. No, I could go search my own music videos. I didn't have to watch the same 20 of them music videos on repeat every day. I can watch Black Flag, I can watch them old Black Sabbath, watch Southern Rock. You know, whereas MTV, it was top 40, top 40, top 40. What killed MTV was the rise of YouTube. Oh, don't get me wrong, it had death grasp. It had his, you know, his death grasp going. See, when it first started out, pretty much anybody could get a music video on it. Then somewhere, then the record companies decided, hey, we're going to pick what's cool. They did that for a while. Every once in a while, they'd have a grasp of uh, something that'd come out that was real cool. And then those record companies would put out more stuff, right? You look at it. With the rise of grunge came the rise of the boy band. And the pop princess in the early 90s. With the rise of new metal came another rise of pop princesses and boy bands. You know, but now we really don't have. You know, if you you don't know where you're going to see pop princesses and boy bands is if you turn on the top 40 radio stations. Now, if somebody puts out a music video, I want to watch it. I'm going to watch it. You know, no longer do I have Mountain Dew or a Pepsi Cola company, uh, Viacom. AT&T or whatever, telling me what's cool. Also, its last grasp was stunt shows, documentaries, stuff like that. Now, I mean, people can do that themselves. See, I don't know how to them suck up the Pepsi Corporation to put information out there. I want to go film myself being stupid. I can go out there right now in the rain and fucking run flat on the grass and film it and put it up. The rise of YouTube is what killed is Sam West put the death, final death nail into MTV. Thank you.